That should get you up to date on the women. And this should update you on the men. With Panthermonium out in full force, the Panthers opened their season at Wiser Gym against Upper Iowa University on November 15th. That's Chris Imes pictured there hitting the three. A lot of new faces on this team, but that's a familiar one. Senior Adam White with the putback. Little fella enjoys that one. Here's one of those new faces. Freshman out of Kickapoo, Kyle Vaughn taking it away and dishing it to Jamel Grant for the easy lay-in. Drew would only get out to a seven-point lead at halftime in this game, so Upper Iowa keeping it competitive. But in the second half, Drury would pull away. Tim Brown loves knocking down the trace. That's Spanish for all of you out there. Panthermonium knows what I'm talking about. But it was Chris Imes who would lead the team with 14 points as he puts the spin move on Upper Iowa here for the easy two. And the Panthers would go on to win 81 to 67. Also filling the stat book were freshman Dominique Long with 10 points, as well as Jamel Grant and Adam White with 10 points apiece themselves. White also led the Panthers with six rebounds. Four days later, the Panthers hosted St. Gregory on their home court. That's freshman Dusty Allen, a starter already in his first season, and that's Dusty Allen knocking down the J. He puts in 11 points and four boards in 26 minutes. This game was never really close from the start, though. The Panthers shot a cool 40% from the field. Adam White knocks down two of his 10 here. He finished the game with a double-double, 10 points and 11 rebounds. That's freshman Denon Mitchell laying it in for two there. But it was senior Jamel Grant that led the Panthers with 15 points. There's three of them as he gets that one to roll in. But it was the other freshman out of Kickapoo who was the story of the game. As he cleans up the Chris Imes miss there, Kyle Vaughn straight did some work. Young fella had a monster game with 12 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 steals while leading the Panthers in minutes as they win 86-70. to And clearly, Coach Hesser was impressed with his young point guard. Kyle, you know, he's just very solid with the basketball. He made open shots. Uh, I thought he worked his tail off defensively and, and, and made plays for his teammates. Next up for the Panthers was a visit to rival SBU, where they have some interesting fans, to say the least. More on that in a second. If there were any bright spots for the Panthers in this game, Adam White was certainly one of them, scoring 18 points to lead the team. He loses his shoe on this play, but he keeps going. John Ty Myers got his shoes on and then some in this one. He's a large man, six foot ten to be exact. That's Brandon Burgett knocking down the three for the Bearcats. And as you can see, not much Coach Esser can do at this point except look on as the Bearcats absolutely lay it on the Panthers, 96 to 77. But hey, if you're going to go out, at least the rivals provide some great entertainment. Thank you for visiting Baltimore, Missouri. Uh, please come again. The Bearcats shot 52% from the field in this game, and when everything was said and done, they had six players in double figures. Coming off the loss, the Panthers were looking for redemption, and it showed. The team got out to an 11-0 lead and never looked back. Dominique Long continued his progression, scoring 10 and grabbing five boards, and this... Oh, this is just wrong. Quentin Branch from outside the area code. Three of his seven there. Jamel Grant had himself a solid game as well. Here's two of his nine. Can I buy a foul? He had seven rebounds to boot. Another player who came up big in this game was sophomore Alfred Nelson drilling the tray there, tying a career high with 11 points in addition to nine rebounds. That's St. Mary's star player Taylor Carvel. He had over a third of the team's points with 22. Chris Imes chipped in 11 for the Panthers as they improved to 3-1 and in a blowout, 89-60. to Be sure to stick around after the break because... Those guys who did the monkey video, they're back. And what do you know about the number 83? Wasn't that a movie? Stay tuned, we're coming right back. DU Sports would like to welcome Alex Hall to the Drury community. He's a 6'2", 6'3", uh... Uh, athletic, tough guy that can that can make baskets, and uh, you know we're losing some guys, and, and we feel like he has the opportunity to come in next year and and uh, and contribute. Hall, a 6'2 shooting guard, averaged 14 points, four rebounds, and three steals a game as a junior at Kickapoo. Hall will see some familiar faces on the team when he enters next winter. He played basketball with current freshman Dusty Allen and Kyle Vaughn for three years at Kickapoo. He's been in our gym a lot because of those two, and and he fits in very well. We'd also like to give a shout out to Abby Bracker and Bree Anton, who both signed to play basketball for Coach Harold's Lady Panthers next season. 
Bracker, a 5'10 forward, averaged 12 points and 10 boards a game last year for the Nixaletti Eagles. Anton, also a 5'10 forward, averaged 15 points, 6 boards, and 4 assists per game for the Ozark Lady Tigers. You know, Bree's a big guard that uh, you know handles it well, shoots a three that also can get down inside and rebound a little bit too. And, and Brocker's a is a combination of a 3-4 kid force that we feel you know can step out and shoot the three as well as uh, get down inside post up and give some team matchup problems. Anton turned down several D1 opportunities to become a Lady Panther. Kind of like you, right? You had all those big schools going at you before you decided to commit to Drury? Well, yeah. ESPN wanted me to skip college and go straight to Bristol, but I told them, no way. Why would they want to do that? Well, isn't it obvious? Don't worry about it. Everyone thinks you're a star, John. Well, thanks. Kind of like Dwayne Hughes. Just watch, Drury baseball player Harrison Waters will tell you all about him. With basketball season, fans are gearing up for another year of exciting basketball at Drury University. The question is, who's Hesser's new secret weapon? The answer... Uh, I'm Dwayne Hughes and uh, I out-train every single person that plays basketball. While his style may be a mix between NBA and AND1, his passion do the tricks, get the chicks. And with Dwayne's competitive nature, he seizes every opportunity to impress. Yeah, I've missed a couple shots in my day. Who really remembers third grade, though? Although this attitude is very good for basketball, it has made Dwayne enemies with pretty much every athlete on Drury campus. With impeccable skills for a player his age, Dwayne is now looking for ways to impress every fan that walks through the doors. Most basketball players don't realize they're entertainers. I pack these stands every night. You gotta look good at all times. If it's calling a timeout, diving for a loose ball, or a sweet stroke for a three-pointer. With transfer stars like Dwayne on campus, Panther fans have much to be excited for. Some are even coming to private practice sessions to cheer on Dwayne Hughes. So come watch this star on the rise as he makes his transition into the NBA. Harrison Waters, DUTV. Kids got skills. No joke. But let's wrap this up. Seriously, I haven't slept in days. I know the feeling. I've got one more thing, though. We're moving. Oh yeah, on December 17th, Drury is no longer going to be on cable channel 27. That's right, our new home will be on digital channel 83, and we don't have to share this one. You know what that means? Even more reruns. You betcha. Well, we gotta go. Finals week is approaching. Everyone stay sane. For Bobby Hearn, I'm John Miller. Enjoy the reruns.